Yeah, I think that's a good point that you raise. And it's not just with Shivaji. You find this with all the leaders who've been truly great. They build large empires. They have known when to strike and when not to strike. And you find this with Shivaji consistently. He was a remarkable survivor. He knew when to fight the Mughals and when not to fight the Mughals. because. And there were times when he could quietly build an alliance with them and, and allow them to rule their part and him rule his own part. Um, and even in the way he... Was pa- when he was patient. It wasn't that he was just sitting and and watching dance performances or anything like that. He was actually sitting and consolidating his administration. And Sivaji had this remarkable ability to build forts, make those forts self-sufficient, and and uh, work at a very personal level with the with the farmers around those forts to build a connection and improve the agricultural productivity. And he had his ability was also came from constant travel in his country. So he knew the geography of his region so well. One is, Mm -hmm. of course, it helped him fight the battles with the Mughal and use guerrilla warfare techniques. But Mm -hmm. in the travel, he was able to build personal connections with each of those people and consolidate administration as well. 